All right, guys. Welcome back to more of the Da Vinci Code. So I found out where this um, ornate, ornate key is. It's actually in this. Uh, if I'm going to go back to my other walkthrough, because I find it a lot easier to sort of manage and look at. Ornate, ornate key. Uh, uh, what? Why is this not working? Uh, come on. Right, let's go through the fucking controls again, shall we? Why won't you look, why won't you look at it? How do you drop? How do you fucking drop items? I don't want to fucking have this. Right, it, he refuses to look in there. Okay. Where do, oh, I don't want to have to save it. I don't have to load save because I probably didn't save for a while. What am I looking at that for? Oh, actually, no, I'll come back for this later. In the niche between three and four station. Okay, I've already done that. Use the broadcast to open the door. Near the seventh station. I have no idea. Let's go and find out, shall we? So, I am playing this blind. I haven't mentioned that at the start of the last video, essentially, either, so... If I want to get through, I'll need something to cut the chain. One thing I do like about the game, and I think a few may be surprised at this, is I like how they sort of use like I don't I don't I'm not always a fan of quick time events, but I don't mind it in this, especially when it comes to using items. This could be handy. set to 12 o'clock and doesn't seem to be moving forward. I wonder if it was broken recently or just never worked. Or maybe it isn't used for telling time at all. So I don't know where exactly have I seen what this solution might be. I 
think this clock may be some sort of secret lock. This was too well hidden to not be important. Uh, I, did I set that right? A-M... A-M... A-E-M. Hmm. I just heard something open. Something, what do you say? Something on the side. Hmm? Okay, so I have to go back to Sister What's her face's neck room. Whoa! There's two of them! Told me boxing wouldn't be useful in a teaching career. That was, uh, that was inventive, wasn't it? I don't mind the fighting in this, but it's not, the, it's not the best in the world. It's Robert. Oh, good. I, I just remember that Sister Something was carrying around two statues. They might be related to what she was doing tonight. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. There's a priory symbol on this armoire, but it's locked. I need to open it. Let's see if there are any clues in here. There's another statue. What else does it say that I need to do? There's some platforms on the pillars. Go back to the church. Who's there? It's just me again. Have you thought of anything else? Yes, the statues I mentioned earlier. I think they were used in a sermon for the Stations of the Cross. Ah, that makes sense. See, I mean, I'm not finding this annoying. Like, I've been told that this game is not the one I want to play, but I'm not... I don't actually feel it's, that, it's actually as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's certainly... It, it starts really strangely in the Louvre, like... It's not very clear. Like some of the things that you have to do are not clear at all. But it's not to the point where it's annoyingly bullshit in my mind.
This station represents when Jesus was condemned to die by Pilate. Pilate called out, Behold your king. It still amazes me that people don't know that Jesus was condemned to die because he threatened the power of the Caesar. He was a descendant of Solomon, which meant that he rightfully could have claimed power as king of the Jews. That certainly stirred up the Romans. This station represents when Jesus was condemned to die by Pilate. Pilate called out, Behold your king. It's still amazing. This depicts Jesus carrying the cross he was to be crucified on. It's made of a sturdy and most likely heavy wood in the shape of a T. This was known as the Tau Cross, and much later, St. Anthony's Cross. The traditional Latin cross that most pictures depict Christ carrying didn't become prevalent until the third century. Hmm, interesting. This station shows when Jesus first fell while being forced to carry the crucifixion cross to Golgotha. Some people don't know that Jesus was actually tortured before his crucifixion as well. They whipped him within an inch of his life using a scourge or lead-weighted whip. I doubt anyone could stand after that kind of abuse. Stone platform on the 7th and 12th. No, 16th, sorry. No, 14th. That's 14th. X -Y X -I -V is 14th. Pillars. Put the statue of the cross statue on the 7th and the other one on the 14th. This station depicts Jesus meeting his mother, Mary or the Virgin Mary as she is better known, on his way to Golgotha. With the cross being too heavy for Jesus to continue, the Roman centurions pick Simon of Cyrene from the crowd to carry it. He's named in several of the Gospels, so it seems likely to be true. Though there's no background history for Simon before or after the events of the crucifixion, other than that he had two sons, Alexander and Rufus. This isn't mentioned in the Gospels, but it's from the apocryphal writings. Veronica was someone who said Jesus cured her blood disorder. She came to his trial to claim Jesus was innocent. When Jesus walks by her, she wiped some of the spit and blood from his face, and it said his image was left on the cloth she used, one of the very few acts of kindness he experienced during his crucifixion. Here, Jesus falls again. At this point, he was not carrying the cross anymore as the Roman centurions had given it to Simon of Cyrene, but he had been whipped nearly to death. So where where is it that it says this thing is? Seventh and fourteenth. So that's six, this is fourteen. I'm using the wrong fucking ones. Idiots. Okay. 
hear the women of Jerusalem lament for Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus makes an odd prophecy where he tells the women not to weep for him, but for themselves and their children. For the days are coming when those who never had kids will think they are blessed. Many try to attribute this to later plagues, but it seems more likely to me that if I were about to die, my outlook on life would also be pretty bleak. Jesus falls for the third time in this depiction. Are you meant to be saying anything else? Because you're not saying anything. Jesus falls again. Jesus falls for the third time in this depiction. Once they got to the place of the skull, Golgotha, they stripped Jesus naked. The final humiliation. They even gambled on who would get his undergarment. The actual nailing to the cross takes place at the 11th station. I often wonder when I hear cases of stigmata, why people bleed through their hands. It was scientifically proven that in order to be able to hang from the cross, the nails are put through the wrists between the bones of your forearm. Nails through the hands simply wouldn't hold. Yeah, a lot of the films that you see probably do depict that, but there's some that actually depict through the wrists. Like, I think, not where the veins are, because that would make you bleed out, because you've got quite, quite, quite main veins in your wrists. That's why if you slash your wrists, you, you bleed out very quickly. But in the forearms, they would put like a nail through it and then like a wood between the nail like the nail would go on top of like a small square bit of wood and then that would go through your hand or for your arm but certainly if you were hung by your hands it would probably be more painful the gospels of matthew mark luke and john all tell of jesus's death on the cross they also agree that jesus called out god God, why have you forsaken me? It's obvious to me that someone calling this out is not a God, but it's also irrelevant. Jesus was a good man and he died because of politics, not because he did anyone harm. They took Jesus' dead body down from the Tau cross and presented it to Mary. Both the Virgin Mary and Mary Magdalene were present there, and that's all that we can really know. Scholars to this day still debate who the body was given to. The burial of Jesus is covered in the Gospels, but only Mark and Matthew mention that both Mary, his mother, and Mary Magdalene were there. It's funny how the Bible is written from so many contradicting points of view, yet people still believe it to be true, word for word. Um. Ah. Examine it. Where's the other statue? Where's the other statue? I picked it up, didn't I? I picked it up. Yeah, this will do. Oh, I do have it. That's it. So that's where Sister Sandrine went in secret tonight. Now I just need to find out why. Oh, and you know what, guys? I think we're going to finish it there. We're going to save it normally, and we're going to leave it there for now. Um, 
I'm probably gonna have one more after this. Even well, in about ten minutes. So uh as always guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.